Hi everyone, my name is Sarabjit Kaur and I'm a computer teacher by profession. In my today's video, I'm going to talk about function used in C++. This is my C++ series that is going on. And in my previous videos, I have explained the rest of the topics that are used in C++. If you have not watched that video, I will link some of the videos or the playlist in the i button. So do check it out. And before starting this video, I request you all to please subscribe my channel and hit the like button also. So let's start. So what do you mean by functions? Functions actually uh, some set of rules that we design to perform some specific task and the functions are the set of instructions that we can design and we can use predefined functions also. So functions have two types of category. First is predefined function. Okay, so predefined functions are those which are already created and we are just using that function in our program. And uh, some functions are stored in some specific header files. So if you are using any required function that you required in your program, for that you have to write down the appropriate header file in the beginning of your program. Okay, so predefined functions ki agar hum example dekhe. So some examples are gets and puts. These are predefined functions and these functions are stored in a header file stdir.h and the second one is strlen strcat and number of functions are also there for string and these functions are stored in string.h header file one function is exit function and this exit function is available in both header files stdlib and process.h and after that we have some functions regarding mathematical operation so these are sqrt min square root absolute and par these functions are stored in math.h these are some examples that I'm showing you on the screen, but there are number of functions in each header file and there are number of header files that are available in C++ and we can use them as per our requirement. If you want to learn more predefined function, then you can uh, write down about this in the comment box. I'll surely uh, provide you some notes uh, about these functions. And the second category of the function is user defined function. So functions are of basically of two types. One is predefined and one is user defined. Predefined function means the function that are already created and we are just using them by their names. Okay, by writing their names in our program. And the second one is user defined function. So user defined functions are created by the user on the requirement. If if I required some piece of code again in, a, in, in my program, then I will put that particular code in a function and I'll use that uh, function over and over in my program so that I can decrease the complexity of my program. If the program will be very lengthy, then the complexity of the program can be increased. So user defined function can be created by ourselves for depends on our requirement. Okay, so how can we create user defined function for this? I'll show you a simple program that you create normally in C++. So example is write a program to add two numbers. If I have to create this program in C++ normally without using user defined function, then how will I create this program? First, I'll write header files that I have skipped. I have just started my program from int main. Then I'll put curly braces and then I'll declare two variable. Then after that, I will take the value of these two variable from the user and I'll calculate this, these two values use uh, by writing a plus b formula directly uh, with the help of c out stream and i am closing this program so this is the program normally that i can create without using a function but if i will explain you a big program using function that it will be very complicated for you to understand so i am going to convert this simple program in user defined function that how can you convert this program okay so for this the I have uh, shown you a program uh, on the right side that is written using user defined function. So how you will write this program first uh, just understand that uh, in the first line I have written header file after that I have created a functions body. Okay, this function body is a separate body uh, as compared to our main program. This is our main program and this main program uh, is calling the function. Okay, here we are calling the function and we have created function body uh, above that main function. So in this function body, I have decided a name that is add. Add is a name that I have given to my function. We can change the name as per our requirement, but uh, we should keep in our mind that that particular word cannot be a keyword predefined keyword so uh, with this uh, function name I have written void 
So what do you mean by void? Void means this function's body will not return any value to the main program. So in, inside this function's body, I have taken three variables a, b, and c, and in these two statements, I have take I'm I'm taking the value of two variable from the user. In this line, c is equals to a plus b. I have put a formula and after uh, that formula after writing that formula that answer is going to be stored in c variable and going to print this variable by writing c out streamline and this is the functions body and inside int main i am calling this function body when i will write the name of this function then compiler will go upward and that compiler will execute this function body and after executing then this function body compiler will come again to main and then it will check that whether there is more lines or more statements or not so if there is no, no other statement in the main then programs working will stop here and after that we can display our program so this way we can convert our normal program in function okay so this is the program that you have seen right now so i'm going to explain you each and every module so uh, this is the first module that we create and this um, above module that is the first module that is known as functions body and this uh, module is also known as function definition it the module means the block that we are creating so this is the first block the, this first block is known as functions body okay and functions definition and this block is called in the main so this is the calling position of this block in this position we are calling functions body if you will not call the body of the function then that body will not be executed by main main will not execute the functions body you have to call that body inside the main then it will work for you okay so this way you can create functions program now i'm going to show you the second method in which you can see clearly that i have shifted the functions body at the last position okay so i have created main first and after that i have created function body so this way also you can create user defined function but in this case you have to write down one line that is void add what do you mean by this line this line is function prototype function prototype will tell the compiler that after the main's body there is one more module that is add module okay so if you are creating functions body after the main then you have to specify about that module first before the main uh, module before the main program you have to specify about the body that you are going to create after main okay that line is known as function prototype or function declaration and after that you will create function uh, main function and in which we are calling function body but we are creating function body at the last so this way also you can create your user defined function and uh, this is the second method i think this uh, method is also clear to you and now i'm going to execute the same program on code block so this is my code block screen and i'm going to create my function body before the main because in this type of method i can skip prototype so that's why i am creating function body first and inside this function body i'm going to declare two variables and i'm going to quickly get the values of the variable from the user and then i'm going to print my answer with message and i'm going to apply the formula directly in c out so this is my functions body and i'm going to call the, this function body here inside main so this is my program and i'm going to execute this program i'm save that program and i'm executing this program so this is asking for the value of a and b so the value of a is 3 and the value of the 4 uh, sorry the value of the b is 4 so the sum is equals to 7 
so my program is executed properly and there is no error in my program i think this program is clear to you so in my next video i'm going to explain you the types of user defined function there are four types of user defined function that we can create in c++ so if you want to learn these types just follow my youtube channel and see you in the next video bye bye